acaban de comunicar de que ha sido arrestado por los militares el presidente de Honduras. I'm Marie Dennis with the Mary Knoll Office for Global Concerns, and I nominated the Human Rights Platform in Honduras because of their extraordinary work, especially since the June 2009 coup in Honduras, in support of human rights. Many of the groups in the Human Rights Platform have been working for human rights in their country for many years, some even for decades, since the horrible time of the 1980s. And to see their strength and their endurance in this last very difficult year has been very inspiring. The fact that the coup has been able to prevail in Honduras is certainly setting a very dangerous precedent, not only for Honduras, but for the whole region, not only for Central America, but for the whole Latin America, in the sense that a coup happened and no one is being held accountable for it. But no, not only are they not being held accountable, they have been permitted to remain in power under control of basically every institution in Honduras, and of course, with total impunity. There's no justice in Honduras right now. The only justice is the one that is administered by the coup mongers themselves, and that is being used to persecute the people who are critical of the coup. So this is obviously setting a very, very dangerous precedent and send a message to other militaries within the region, other elites within the region, uh, that they can actually go ahead with a coup in the 21st century and get away with it and be very successful. I'm Representative Jan Schakowsky, and I was deeply disturbed by the 2009 coup in Honduras. And it's just as disturbing to hear about the ongoing climate of intimidation in that country and the lack of accountability for abuses committed in the aftermath of the coup. I've made two trips to Honduras, and I'm working with other members of the U.S. Congress to make sure that our government plays a positive role in promoting respect for democracy and human rights in that country. But of course, it takes a strong social movement on the ground to create a real democracy. I want to salute the human rights platform of Honduras for their heroic efforts to end the ongoing persecution of activists and dissidents. And I want you to know that you have strong allies in the U.S. Congress who will continue to support the pursuit of justice for all victims of human rights abuses in Honduras. Thanks. This is a truly tragic and sad episode for Honduras and for Hondurans like myself. I am trying to be optimistic about it and uh, see the positive change that this crisis has brought to Honduras and how Hondurans are now standing up for their rights, standing up for themselves and demanding change and demanding a rebirth of democracy. We believe that it is very important to honor, to lift up, to make more visible the important work of these organizations for the future of our hemisphere.